Let's see. Got up some stuff. See what I got over here. Grab this CD. I want to put this away. I got a plethora of things. Yeah. See what we got over here. Open up the magic machine. And we got something like this. You ask me how many songs I've written. Well, to date, it's been over 4,000 songs. Still counting. I do my level best to sing and play and perform like it's my last time on earth. Having worked with various artists from Kenny G to uh, I had the fun of jamming with George Benson, you know, all these different people. And I tell folks, I am the soundtrack of your life, though you never knew it. My mom taught me early. I was Ellis Hall. I didn't have to be anyone else, didn't have to imitate anyone else. That being said, at eight years old, I was out singing on the corner with some dear friends of mine. And people were throwing things. And I thought at first they were mad until I realized the things they were throwing were, were money. It wasn't until I was 14 and I snuck into a club and I saw with my eyesight at that time. I saw the looks on the faces of the band that was in that club whipping the audience into a frenzy. I mean, they talk about that uh, mutual Omaha moment or the aha moment. That was it for me. Hey! A year into my birth, they noticed my eyes turned blue. It turns out in that black hospital in Savannah, they didn't know to have silver nitrate, which would have taken the congenital glaucoma. It would have made it so it didn't take hold. Mom and Pop decided to move up to Boston where the famous school, Perkins School for the Blind, was there. I lost my actual good eye in a freak wrestling accident in 1970. And uh, this gentleman hit my face. And after I got over the pain, I was teasing with my buddies and said, well, I guess I must not have paid my electric bill on time, so lights out. Start tell time about friend of mine, all right. Good God Almighty. Standing by the highway, gonna do it her way. Hitching a ride on anything out of town. Over my career, I worked along with uh, James Taylor, hung and worked with Patti LaBelle. I mean, I've worked with Bobby Womack. I even did a little stint, a uh, small thing with Mr. Bobby Blue Bland. And one of the things, though, that really touched me is getting to perform with Donny Hathaway. Ain't the grass is arena, but life is cycles. Great and brown, survival of the fittest. With the tears of the land, innocent chase and dreams. Welcome to the world beyond your door. Rainbows and Dorothy. Girl, you're not in Kansas anymore. I met Ray Charles in 2001. By that time, I had done a whole bunch of craziness, like work with a great group called the Tower of Power. I was the lead singer, keyboardist, actually the utility guy, because they asked me on drums, they asked me on keyboards, they asked me on guitar, they asked me on, on bass. But that having been said, I started after Tower of Power doing television and music, movies, all sorts of stuff. And when I met Ray, he called me the next day and said, who the f are you? Why haven't I heard of you? Where the hell have you been? I gotta kick some serious f cause nobody told me about you. Innocent chance and dreams. Welcome to the world beyond your door. Rainbows and Dorothy. Girl, you're not a Kansas anymore. Wolf said, 
hero skin Gloss like you never seen before Carefully on my skin Girl, you're not in Kansas Whirling around and around On the wind of mystery Time will work it out If only you All right. How? Oh, shucks. Eventually, it will be done where you say Ellis Hall, and immediately you'll see what I'm doing. Not what I have done, but what I am doing. And continue to do, which is celebrate the life I lead and the love I give to others. Just when you thought you knew the score, ring for the door of the girl you're not in Kansas. Not in Kansas anymore. Not in Kansas. Shirts in the wall. Not in Kansas. All right. Watch your step, little girl.